Hello, this is Sergey from Propersoft and today I will show you how to convert a PDF file from your Banco credit card statement to QFX format and import into Quicken 2017 for Windows. We will use PDF to QFX utility and you can download it at propersoft.net. Once downloaded and installed, start PDF to QFX and select a PDF file. Check that dates are correct, they ha that dates have correct year, the amounts are in proper places, deposits are in, in deposit section, withdrawals are in withdrawal section. And before converting to QFX file, make sure to select QAF target to match your accounting software. Make sure to set the account ID and make sure to set account type. If you convert for more than one account, make sure to use different account ID for different accounts. Make sure to set into bit number from allowed bank. 3000 is default value which is Wells Fargo Bank and it is allowed for all account types. If you want to use different bank label, so it's not in more than bank label, not actual bank, you can click lookup button and locate your bank. Make sure that when you choosing um, when you choosing into bit, it is allowed for your account type. For example, this one is not allowed for any account type. This one is allowed only for check-in savings and credit line, not credit card. Try to locate your bank if needed, and if it's allowed, you can select it. Make sure to set US dollars currency for Quicken US edition. For Quicken Canadian edition, you can set US dollars or Canadian dollars. If you have Quicken US edition and you need to import for non US account, use different utility PDF to QIF instead of PDF to QFX. Now we're ready to, to convert to QFX file. Click the convert button and confirm the file name and the file location. Next step is to switch to Quicken and import the QFX file. Before importing QFX file, make sure to backup your data. Backup your data so you can easy, go, easy, easily go roll back to previous state if something uh, is imported n incorrectly or you your data you realized later the transactions are not correct you can easily restore your data to previous state before importing qfx file make sure that account is not connected to online services so in this case we have checking account that is says yes for transaction download so we have to disconnect it from online services first click edit click online services and click deactivate what will happen it is it will after you connect to online services or you import some qfx file it becomes to online services connected so you have to disconnect it first to import the QFX file, go, go File, File Import, Web Connect. Select Created QFX file. You can select to create new account or you can select existing account. Again, if you, di if you disconnect it from online services, that account will be listed here. You may also choose to keep online services connected and import into a new account, call it something temporary or import. You can import into that account and then move transactions from that account under another account. So this way you will keep your existing account connected to online services and you, know, you don't have to connect it back later. Now your data is imported and you can review transactions, you can accept them all, they are now inside Quicken. Thank you for watching.